Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with RedefineHorizons.com and this is the second video in the set of videos that we're doing on this boundary resolution for a parcel on Bomberg Avenue. So in the first video I walked you through how we resolved the boundary on our subject parcel here and then on the adjoining parcels. Uh, so what I wanted to do in this video was just show you how we piece together the rest of the block. And technically, since these are, are deeded and they all fit together, and I have all my adjoiners, uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to see how the rest of the block fit together, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and do that. Uh, this hadn't been surveyed in over 100 years uh, on, on any filed maps, and um, I just was a little bit nervous, so I wanted to, to go ahead and lay out the rest of the block, and then uh, there's also kind of some cool things to learn about lot and block descriptions and, and uh, junior senior rights, so I thought it'd be good to cover that in the video. So hang on one sec here. I think I don't think my camera's working. Okay, I think I got the camera working. So there was only one other um, group of parcels that we could actually cogo uh, that were meets and bounds, and that was up in this corner. Um, so let me just show you those parcels. So um, let's see. So the first one is this corner lot. And then when we get all three of them in here, I'll show you how I, I locate them. Okay, and uh, then we got uh, the second parcel, and they these all fit together. So this one goes in here like this. Okay, and then we had one more. So the deed defines these three parcels, and like I said, they're the only other parcels that we could cogo. So the rest, the rest of the parcels are all lot and block, or portions of lots and blocks, uh, portions of lots. That's the type of descriptions. Okay. All right. So there is a closure error here, one foot. Um, so what I did to locate these um, is I went ahead and I anchored to this uh, begin curve here. Okay, and then uh, I went ahead and rotated to the uh, south easterly line of Arf Avenue. Okay. And then I noticed when I did that, I was awful close to this lot line here. And so if you go in and actually read the deeds, which of course you should always do, you find out there's a call here for uh, this line of the deeds calls for the southwesterly line of lot 11, which is this line right here. So what I did then was I went ahead and slid this down to that intersection point. Okay. And then, um, sorry, I should have slid those others, other two. Okay, and then you're going to see, you know, we don't line up super fabulous down here because we've got this closure error but after i evaluated i realized that was the right fit and so what i did was i just drew in this line here 117 feet along the old lot line then i held this record angle and came down to the right of way and then uh, placed those two lines at these distances of 65 feet and so that's this line work right here so we can drop that in Okay, and uh, I did go ahead and run those out to the center line because that's how. Nope, I didn't actually. I'm sorry. They come. At, they the deed does. Uh, the deed does come up to here actually. So sometimes if you get Brick's cat has a hard time if you get dashes overlaid on dashes. So let's fix that real quick. Ah. So I'm going to move these into place. Okay, so that's how I place those. Oop. And then <clears throat> the uh, the rest of the, the parcels in the block, uh, you can't cogo. So they're all portions of the, the lots. So let's just go ahead and we'll look through those. So I'm going to pull open my deeds here. Um, 
and let's see. So I'm, we're just going to look at these one at a time. Because, of course, I don't remember which deeds were which. Okay, so this is this is down on the south side of the block. So we got the southwestern 92.6 feet of lot 22 and all of lot 23 and the northeastern 25.6 feet of lot 24. Okay, so uh, we need to look at this. So let's pull up our old sub map. Okay, so we've got all of lot uh, 22, which is here. Okay, and then we have, I'm sorry, we have the southwestern 92.6 feet of lot 22. So we've got the southwestern 92.6 feet of this lot, all of lot 23, and then we have the northern uh, 25, 25.6 feet of lot 24. Okay, so let's draw that in. So we've got, um, so you got to measure along the side lines now because you can't use an offset because these aren't perpendicular. So we got 92.6, okay. And we've got 92.6. Now you can see when we do that, We've got a little bit of a difference here, so there's a there's a gap between this deed and our adjoiner deed. So let's just measure that gap. Okay, so it's about a little over a foot now. So I've got to make a call here. Okay, and again, this isn't super critical because I've got my adjoiner in where I want. But uh, what I'm going to say is because this adjoiner is meets and bounds, right? Um, what I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the I'm going to give this extra 1.2 feet to this lot. But I'm just going to leave this dimension in here so I don't forget that that's what we got going on. Okay, so uh, what that means is instead of holding the 92.6, I'm since I'm giving this lot down here the extra. I'm going to go ahead and extend this line up. Okay, so this isn't going to be 92.6. It's going to be a little over a foot. It's going to be 93.8, somewhere in there. Okay, so I'm giving the excess to him. Now, what would be good is you could go in and check this, this deed reference and see what's the call for this line. It'd be interesting to see what that call is, and we will. We'll look at that. We'll get to that deed. Okay, so that creates that line. And then this other call that we have on the other side is we have 92, I'm sorry, we have 25.6 feet of lot 24, okay, the northeastern. Okay, so, and again, you can't use an offset. You have to go along these side lines. Okay, and it just, it doesn't like these, um, it doesn't, it doesn't like those. Uh, it doesn't like those with the dashes. So let's try this again. Yeah, it still doesn't like it. So I'm going to make this one continuous too. Okay. So we need. Uh, I believe it was 24.6. No, 25.6. Okay. Now. I know from the tax assessor map that that should leave me with 75 feet for the flood control right away here. We don't have that deed yet, but we're getting it. Okay. So we're going to go the same 25.6. Okay, and uh, so what this is going to do now is this going to give us a chance to to measure that and see how we check because we're closing up against the block boundary here. So we'll go ahead and throw a dimension on. So we're hoping this is 75 and it's pretty close, pretty close. So when I give the excess, when, when I take up the excess here, actually it doesn't matter. When I offset this lot line here, the 25.6, I get within a 10th, right? I get within a 10th of the record on the assessor's map. So I'm pretty happy with that for a block this old. Okay, so now we've got that deed is these this full lot and this strip and this strip, right? So we've got that parcel in, okay? And we've, that gives us this portion of the flood control right away. 
Okay, so uh, I'm fairly happy with that, although we do have this, you know, you got to remember, we've got this 1.2 foot difference here. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull up our next deed. Okay, so that's this 2006 deed. Okay, so uh, we begin at a point. Okay, so this is meets and bounds, so it's one of our joiners. We already have it in, so we can go to the next one. Okay, this is a quick claim deed in 2013. Okay, so it's lot 10 and the northeastern 25.6 feet of lot 9, as shown on the subdivision. Okay, except that lot portion lying within ARF. Okay, so let's go back to our map, which for some reason I keep closing. I don't know why I keep doing that, sorry. Okay, so we are lot 10 and the northern 25.6. So again, they're given the 75 feet to the flood control district. Okay, so what I'd like to do is just extend this line up and see how we match. Okay, so we're going to come up here to the top and see how close we get to 75. Okay, and right on the money. Okay, so I'm happy with that line. Okay, so then that gives us this parcel here. So it's these two lines, right? So I'm actually going to draw a tie line here. Across here. Okay, and again, it doesn't, I got to make this continuous to get that snap. So we're just, just drawing the tie lines where the uh, parcel boundaries are. So we've got this parcel now, flood control parcel. We've got this parcel here. Okay. So all we have left is whatever's going on in this little portion of the block right here. Okay. So, but we're just going to keep we're just going to keep working down our list of deeds. We pulled every deed in the block. We're just working down. We're working through those. So we've got a 2017 deed here. Okay, so this has two parcels in it, and this is let's see. This is meets and bounds. So it is. Uh, this is our corner lot. That's our joiner. So we already have that one in. So we can skip that one. Okay, then we got this 2019 deed. Um, okay, we already have this one in. It's meets and bounds. It's one of our adjoiners. So we can skip that one. We have this 2021 deed, quick claim. Okay, it is 11, 12, portions of 11, 12, and 13. Okay, beginning more particularly described as follows. Okay, so this is going to be important. So we have the southeasterly 282 feet of those lots, side lot measurement less the southeasterly 132 foot side lot measurement okay so we got to be really careful with this so let's go back and look at our map and figure out uh which ones uh, we're talking about here i don't know how i keep closing that map oh it's not it's right here so i'm sorry okay so we've got <clears throat> lots 11 12 and 13. okay so 11 12 and 13. okay we've got the South 282 minus the, the uh, South Easterly 132. The South Easterly 282 minus the South Easterly 132. Okay, so we're going to come back in, figure out. So we're talking about, um, let me go back into my deed there. 11, 12, and 13. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I start the third lot over. Let me make sure I get in the right spot. So one, two, third lot over here. Okay. So what we have is the south easterly two thirty-two. We want first. Okay. So we're going to start down here. We're going to go two hundred thirty-two feet. Okay. But but we got to accept from that the south. Um, I forget. Sorry, 282 minus 132 is what we want. So we got uh, 282 
minus 132. Okay, and um, I'm gonna hold this bearing here. Now, it doesn't really say, does it? It's a little bit tricky to know which bearing we're gonna get there. Um, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna draw up 132. Okay, and then we're gonna draw a line from there to there. Okay, so there's the exception for the south 132. Okay, now, it says the south 282, but you notice that doesn't quite close the gap here. I believe that's about a 10 foot difference. Okay, it's 9.4 feet. So we've got a we've got a gap here in the record. So this this distance, the 117, came from these meets and bound deeds. So uh, we've got a gap here, and my guess is this 282 that's in this deed uh, should have been 292, not 282. Okay, um, because if you look at the assessor's map, there is no nine and a half foot strip there. So there's no strip. Okay, so we've got the south 132, and then we're supposed to have the, the top 282, so there's supposed to be 150 feet, but we have more than that, right? And uh, if you go in and look at the, the street view, uh, you will see, let's go look at it. Uh, I don't see anything that indicates to me there that there is a 10-foot parcel there that the assessor missed. Okay, so where we're talking about now is... Uh, we're talking about right in here. That's where we've got that difference. So uh, you know we've got a UAV ortho here that we flew. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a real close look at where this building lands. Again, I don't know that it's gonna impact our parcel. Okay, but there's a difference there, so there could be a gap. So again, I'm gonna throw a dimension on here so I can remember. Hey, there's an issue. We got a gap there. Uh, there's obviously no gap on the ground. It's being occupied. Okay, now we're not all the way done. We've got a few more deeds. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and keep working our way through our deeds. Okay, so we've got our 2020. This is a 2022 deed. Okay, and I believe this is, yeah, this is our deed for these for the parcels up here in the corner. Okay, so we have those. Okay, so we got one deed left. It's a deed from 1988. Okay, so we have a portion of 11, 12, and 13. Okay, and it's the southeasterly 132, except the portion of uh, 12 and 13 deeded to the city for the road, basically. Okay, so that covers this other south 132, so now we can close this gap. Okay. Now I'm going to run that over, but I'm going to extend it. Okay, I'm going to extend it out. Okay, so that the city deeded in this little sliver here. Okay, now that should look pretty close to what we have in the block. Okay, so you know what? I can't remember. I might we might be missing this deed. That might be in our adjoiner. I'll have to go back and check that. But what we can do now, so we know we've got a problem here, about 10 feet, and we know we've got a little bit of a problem here. Okay, but then we can just spot check some distances against the assessor map, right? So we can come in and kind of spot check this distance right here. So the assessor map shows that as um, uh, 100.61 feet. So let's just see what we get. We kind of close the gap here. So uh, we've got an extra four tenths there. Um, and you got to remember that extra four tenths is because we prorated the excess in this block, right? So I expected that would be a little bit long. So now we've got the, the lines in our block laid out. Let me just change all these back to by layer for the line type. Okay, and so if we go ahead and we can come in now and freeze the old block, the old lot lines, and this is what the block actually looks like. And so, with the exception of this uh, nine and a half feet here and the one and a half feet here, I think this fits together really good. I think this nine and a half feet was a was a typo. Now I don't know for sure, but I think my partner Brian has a good UAV ortho for the whole block. 
that we could drop in here. Let's, so let's see if we can do that. Um, and hopefully it lands in the right spot. Um, I'm curious how that building lands up there where we've got that 10 foot gap. All right, guys, so I have our UAV ortho in, um, and we're going to just kind of take a peek at what we got here. So uh, you can clearly see uh, these folks here are occupying that 10 foot strip. <laughs> so um, it looks like the boundary is um, uh, based on occupation, I would, I would hold that uh, D distance of the uh, 282 feet and put the line down here. Um, because that building is is clearly on that line, <laughs> so which is kind of funny. Um, so you know that's where some occupation can help you. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put in the 282. Um, it's a little hard to see that, isn't it? I I actually put it in at the wrong spot. Where is it? It's a little hard to see. Let me. Um, let's see. Let me select this line. Nope, not that line. That line. All right, there it is. It's down here. Okay, so we're gonna put in the 282 from here, and uh, you can see uh, that this guy is definitely uh, this guy on the northwest is definitely occupying that gap. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the D distance of 282. There's still a gap there, but uh, these guys are definitely occupying that gap. Okay, other than that, uh, you know, this stuff lines up pretty good. You know, this, this building might be a little bit over, but that looks pretty good. Um, this line look, looks really close to where it needs to be. You know, I feel really good about that line. Um, again, this line to me looks like it's right on. Okay, um, this line of our building is right on. Um, let's see, do we have a line? We should have a line here on the other side of the canal right away. I don't know if I deleted that line by accident. Let's see. might have deleted that line by accident. Let's copy this over. It's actually supposed to go along the center line. So let me see here. I'm just having a, oh, I lost my center line there. I don't know why. I don't know why I lost my center line. <clears throat> so what I wanted to do was move this line over. For some reason I lost this other line that was 75 feet over too. I got happy with my erase command apparently. Alright, so then we just wanted to see how did that line up. So it looks up, lines up really good. Uh, so I'm super happy with this, with the occupation. I know who's occupying that gap. It's very clear. The landowner to the northwest took that gap, right? And actually, uh, I want to, we're going to copy this line. So I'm actually just going to put two lines in here. <laughs> this gap right here is being occupied by this guy to the north, northwest. So I'm really happy with this. Um, I think we've we've uh, done a good job, and we have a good uh, good set of line work here. Um, so hopefully this video helps. You guys can see how we check the rest of the block. We did have a couple problems. Got a little little gap here, and uh, we got a 10 foot gap here. But we know who's occupying it, and uh, you know we've got a little bit of an extra. We got four tenths extra here because we had a, a block that was about a foot long. So, but I'm super happy with how this came together, and uh, I hope this this is helpful for you guys. Um, you know, don't be a fly-by-night two-monument tango surveyor who only just plots his deed, right? This is a lot of work.
to come in here and uh, resolve the boundaries of this entire block and then see how all the parcels fit. But it's the right way to do things. So appreciate you guys watching.